Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, uh, pretty much just redo stuff, fix things, kind of show you how to's, the gist of it and all that. And that's pretty much what I do. But in this video, if you hadn't saw when you clicked on the video, I got a new bike and I want to show you all that right now. So here it is. It's a 2014 Street Glide Special. Um, it's got some scratches, stuff like that. It's obviously not new. But it's pretty much new. The thing only has like pretty much 5,000 miles on it. So it is in mint condition as um, far as engine and everything wise. But it does have a few. It's the denim black. It's got a few little scratches here and there, especially on the tops of the lid right here. You can't really see them, but there's a few right there. But aside from that, it is in like really good condition. It's got the Screaming Eagle breather. Um, I believe it's Vance and Hines pipes. Yep, Vance & Hines, pipes, true duels all the way back. A lot of chrome, a lot more than uh, than I prefer, but we have already ordered some things and we're gonna be changing up a lot of the chrome and getting rid of that, but it's uh, it's got all the bells and whistles. I've always wanted one of these bikes, but other people are always like, oh, these are glad. I don't really care. I like the bike. I always have liked these bikes, so. Uh, some other things that's been added to this. Uh, I am changing these to the smoke turn signals, but these are not factory, obviously, because it's street glide. So these were added and everything. So it kind of looks like electric glide, but um, I love them <laughs> at night. I rode a couple times at night already, but there's so much chrome. I've got to get rid of some of this chrome. There's just way too much chrome, in my opinion. I mean, as far as like these and everything. And it's got the big touring seat. I mean, I, don't know, I know the wife's going to love that, but that is just way too big. So we're doing something about that. Um, so we're changing up a few things on this. But um, aside from that, that's pretty much it. I'm loving the bike. It's so comfortable. Love riding it. Um, yeah. We've definitely got a bunch of parts and some things to change up on here. Uh, as far as what I've already done. The original owner had stuck some of those little tiny round mirrors that kind of bubble everything. I mean, it seemed really far away, but they'd kind of put them in a terrible spot, so I couldn't see really good out of the back, so I hated it, but uh, definitely pretty cool. Um, so stick around if you like Harleys and all that. We've got some mods and everything that I'm going to be doing to this and kind of building it out and making it my own. So... Also, I know I didn't mention it, but this thing did have a big chrome crash bar and all that, so and highway pegs on it, but I've already yanked that off of there, so I'm not sticking that back on there for uh, y'all to see what it looks like. I'll post a picture right now for y'all to see what it looked like when I bought it. But now we got the crash bar off of there. We're gonna go ahead and start ripping some of this other stuff off because I got a hold of a stock 2022 street glide seat so we're gonna stick that on there for right now kind of looking around at some uh, saddleman seats or just some other seats doesn't have to be saddleman but some kind of low profile that's still really comfortable maybe with some diamond stitching on that um but that's kind of what we're planning on going with but for now we're gonna go ahead and yank this stuff off of here because we trying to get rid of as much chrome as we can um, definitely gonna have to either keep this or invest in a black version of this because I'm trying to get rid of as much chrome as I can. I mean, I'm not gonna get rid of all of it because I'm just not going to, but uh, there's a ton of stuff I'm not gonna be able to get to. But let's see if we can get this released. There we go. There's the back wrist, pretty cool. And then here's some of the stuff for the new seat which is right here so we're gonna stick this i mean it's like brand new there's no dirt i think the guy said he had like 20 something miles on it so uh let's get that stock i mean you see i'll sit them side by side you can really see it's crazy how big this rear section of the seat is And I really don't want to get rid of this for right now. That's another reason why I wanted to go with just the stock seat because I really like the backrest. So we're going to do that. But put this monster here and the new monster. 
I mean, look <laughs> at the rear section. I know this seat's way more comfortable for me because it's going to have a higher back and everything, but look at how hideous the rear of this seat is. That's crazy. <laughs> all right, here's the two pieces and all that that we're putting on there. Let's go ahead and stick the seat on there. Oh, man, that looks so much sleeker <laughs> than that monstrosity, which I know for long rides, that's going to be the best. But for now, we're going with this because this looks a million times better. So if you can't tell, this is kind of the... <laughs> this is definitely the stuff that I'm wanting to kind of change all over the seat but oh wow i like that definitely got to do a lot of stuff with getting some of this chrome off of here and everything but oh yeah that looks a million times better heck yeah sayonara <laughs> man this looks so much better i'm loving this oh man this thing i've been wanting one of these i mean 10 years ago when i bought my wide glide this is really what I went to buy and didn't get it, obviously. So now I'm getting it, but cool beans. All right, well, let's get on to some other stuff. I got my new seat for the X2. <laughs> well, now that I got that one mod changed, um, I've got a taller windshield coming tomorrow. I think this is like the four inch or four and a half inch. And you get a measuring tape and just double check but uh i just measured off camera and it was a uh, if i measured it right from like right here to the top it was like five and a half so i'm going with a seven and a half and i'm hoping that's going to be tall enough because it's not it's not kicking it enough where like it's giving me the the head wobble and all that when i'm riding so definitely gotta get that changed but I'll tell you one of the biggest things i love about these newer saddlebags is this, I mean, just one hand opened up. I never had one of the regular ones and I can keep my back resting. That's pretty neat and all that, but um, I never had one with saddlebags. So this is all new to me, but man, it is awesome. Just being able to do that. Plus one hand open, close and not having to do the whole flip and kind of rock it back and forth and get it open. These are so nice. And this is another little add-on that it had when I got it. It's got these uh, extra brake lights and all that, which probably going to do some stretch saddlebags. So I'll probably end up losing those unless I want to add them back to this bike. But um, definitely want to do like a five-inch stretch bag and get it down, kind of hide the pipe a little more, level everything out back here. So that's kind of what we got planned. So... Man, this seat looks so much better. <laughs> that one was just massive, but yeah, comfort. That's what most people buy these bikes for. So, yep, I think I've got, what do I got? Oh, yeah, I've already put about a hundred and something miles on it. So I'm gonna give y'all a little sound clip of how it sounds right now. Stick around, we got plenty, 
plenty of uh, things coming to do with this bike. Um, a lot of riding. Probably not going to be posting any riding videos of this. It'd be pretty boring, I'm sure. Um, but, yep, this is uh, what we got. I can kind of give y'all some reviews on some things if y'all want me to. I'm sure there's plenty of videos out there, but I'm going to at least make one on my bike and what I'm doing to it. So, like I said, thanks for watching, and we'll see y'all on the next one. Don't forget to go check out Capri Tools and get your 10% discount using Chris 2022. Mm -hmm.